What's up guys, they're back. They're finally back. The four characters that we've been waiting for so long are finally back. Trike have just released an official teaser trailer called Origins. If you guys haven't seen it, watch it right here, right now. How epic was that? Okay, let's get into the breakdown. Right, so you guys might think this is just reintroducing the old characters and not that important. However, this is wrong. Now, right now, what is going on is that these characters, if you guys haven't noticed already, they're not exactly the same characters that we left up in Black Ops 1. They're a little bit different. And what I mean is they're still the original characters, but they're younger now. I think they're about, I don't know, 10, maybe 20 years younger or something. But I do know that this is not time travel related. The map itself is actually set in 1917. And the people playing in that map are also from 1917. There's no time travel going on right now. This is the exactly the origins of zombies. This is where it all started. And these are the original four characters but young versions of them. Now what Trike have done, they've linked in every character with a specific map and you know if you go through some COD history and stuff you'll be able to see which character is which and I will explain it when you get a close-up of all four characters. Now over here you can see the close-up and uh, the four characters from the left are obviously the left guy right at the end is Takio, the guy next with the cap is the Russian which is Nikolai, next is Richtofen and then the final is Dempsey. Now that is it for the most uninteresting bit of the teaser, here comes the good stuff. Now in my very first map pack 4 video, I told you guys about the setting of this map, and look, I was right. I stated that there would be trench warfare in this map because we were going back to World War 1-esque era, and Triac have recreated trench warfare. Now if you guys don't know what trench warfare is, it was a massive history project that I did in high school, but essentially it's a tactic that they used, and they were at a stale point in No Man's Land where they started building trenches and everyone would just, you know, get cover behind the trenches and use them to, you know, just kill the other enemies and the war would go on for absolutely forever. But now we're going back to trench warfare and what Triac have done, they've recreated history in such a way that it's awesome. Now I stated numerous times previously that the giant is real, but a lot of people did not believe me. They thought I didn't have a substantial enough proof to back up my theory. Well, I don't need proof now, do I? The giant has been confirmed by Treyarch. It is true. There is a mechanical creature that was constructed by Maxis. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I severely recommend going over to my first ever Map Pack 4 video where I give you the details of the map, the giant, and how are we going to stop the giant? If you guys haven't seen it, there'll be a link in the description, there'll be an annotation, you guys should definitely watch that. Everything that I said in that map pack video seems to be true. If you still don't believe me, refer back to this trailer, and if you still don't believe me, I can't make, I can't convince you any other way. But thank you everyone for watching, my name is Vix, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. If you're excited about the map, be sure to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe for day one coverage of this map. It's going to be released on the August 27th, right? If you believe me on everything else, believe me on this as well. So thank you everyone for watching. My name is Vix. I'm super, super excited, super, super stoked. And now I need to calm myself down. Bye.